suffice. Um, that's how you say it, I guess. As if to himself, he mutters something under his breath. Why do I always look like the bad guy? <sighs> Apologies aren't my forte, but I'll try my best. Da da da. Question okay, mark. Fine. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Right, right. I'm sorry for kissing you. I went too far. He sighed and ran his fingers through his hair. I didn't mean for it to turn out that way. It's just... I act on impulse, okay? It's difficult to control myself in... Yeah. Let me see. Actually, that apology was sort of sincere. Also, I like how, how uh, nobody said mentioned about the wounds. Yeah! It's okay, I get what you're trying to say. Thank you for the apology. Yeah, no problem. Anyway, if you try to pull any funny business in the future, just fair warning. I know Taekwondo. <laughs> I think I've bickered enough. Time to get back to the main issue. So, what exactly are all of you doing in my house? Miss, please forgive us for our intrusion. We didn't know this abode belonged to anyone, nor did we have the time to take that into consideration. Actually, uh, the house is still in good shape, so I don't get uh, why they would think uh, nobody lived there. Well, they didn't uh, have to have time to take it into consideration. So. What? What do you mean? You don't just barge into people's homes. We wouldn't have had to if we weren't as wounded as we are currently. We just escaped from a deadly fight that could have ended our lives. Luckily for us, your home was near and the windows were unlocked, so we quickly came inside. <laughs> oh my god. They Lucky came. <laughs> yeah, so we quickly came inside. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh my god. Hooray for perverted jokes. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that sounds so wrong. So we quickly came inside. Oh god. That's that the title of this my... part. <laughs> what? That's the title of this part. <laughs> yeah. Look look at his face. So we quickly came inside. <laughs> it fits so well. Dude, that quote will be stuck in my head for hours. <laughs> That's hilarious. Anyway, the last time I remembered the w were laws preventing strangers from stepping on private property, although considering the severity of their wounds it had to be serious. I guess that explains the wounds, but not why he kissed me, he had absolute, absolutely no right to do that. Well, lovely flustered lady, it's hard to explain, truly. We're not exactly normal. Goddamn pervert. <laughs> not normal? What are you guys, demons or something? I asked almost jokingly, but the boys seemed to take my question differently. <sighs> <laughs> well, yeah, actually, something like that. Yeah? <laughs> <sighs> We're incubi, miss. Demons who consume and use sexual energy of humans to survive. Dut, dut, dut. Incubi? The fabled demons that exist to haunt humans and make them sex traced monsters? And the myth mythical beings that could look like anyone just to get into your pants? The imaginary monsters that you only saw in movies or, or on TV? Hello? Did you hear him? We're telling the truth. Do you think she's still processing it? Yes. And she'll understand right about... R right. It was funny while it lasted, but it, it's time to cut the joke short. Incubuses don't exist. There was no way they existed. That would be practically impossible. So far my favorite is Meteo, out of all of them. <laughs> uh, sorry, say that again? Incubi is the correct plural form. And yes, we do exist. So far my favorite is uh, Meteo, the guy on the far left. Yep, same. <laughs> And and I, I like how she corrects him to something I, I knew myself. Incubi is the correct plural form, and yes, we do exist. Prove it. A 
As soon as the words left my mouth, I instantly regretted them. Rape! Very well. <laughs> Eric, go ahead. <laughs> oh, this is about Very to get kinky. Well. My sweet, you're so tempting with such non-belief. Let me ease your mind with a tender kiss. I promise, you'll enjoy every minute of it. And maybe, you'll even want more. I was right! What? I was right, it's rape! <laughs> <laughs> what? Once again, I was lost in a pool of calm and serenity. S staring into Eric's eyes, I felt waves of heat course through my chest and onto my face, painting my cheeks red in their wake. I couldn't help but nod and agree to his offer. <laughs> oh my god. This is so... kinky. Y yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> With another kiss, my heart began to flutter once again in my chest, and my mind was sent spinning in a heat, passion-filled pleasure. Yet I could feel my body drain of energy as he kissed me. All right, that's enough. Ah, very well. <laughs> I feel so much better. <laughs> oh my god. As he pulled away, I was left in a mental mush pool. I felt weak in my knees despite my will demanding me to stand straight in front of the boys before me. The world around me began to spin as I tried to speak. I think I'm going to... Ah, where are our manners? I'm James. Oh, uh, sorry, and what? These are my brothers. Sam, Eric, Matthew, and Damien. It's a trap! <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Da da da. Yes. Are you okay? Shit. She fainted. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Incubi. Real. It all spun around in my head until I saw only black. Floating in the darkness, my mind keep what? And the Kirchhoff, that was her his response. She had, she fainted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not like, oh my god, she fainted. Let's help her or something. And shit. She fainted. Probably like he tried it before. <laughs> Making women faint. Anyway. Floating in the darkness, my mind kept replaying this uh, the scene over and over again, reminding my body of the touch of the incubus lips, lips against mine. How however, I began to feel the smooth silk around me and my eyelids unwillingly opened. Mm, where... <sighs> I awoke to find myself in an unfamiliar place. Where is mom? Dad? I was pretty sure this wasn't my room. Oh wait, I left at my grandfather's house now. Of course it would be unfamiliar. I rubbed my eyes and surveyed my surroundings. I was still in the clothes that I arrived at the house in, but I was laying in a silk-covered bed. I remember coming in the afternoon, so why was it night time already? She came! <laughs> yes, she sure did. <laughs> check, check your panties if your virginity is still there. They've eaten sexual energy, but oh, oh, okay, just, just, just a uh, friendly piece of advice. Suppressing a yawn, I stretched my arms. Maybe I should, maybe I should order some food for delivery. I was feeling pretty hungry. I was about to sit up, but I suddenly realized that I wasn't alone. Oh shit. Uh, God! <laughs> Since when was he standing there, and who the heck was he? A guy in my bedroom? Did we? <laughs> uh, totally. There's no way. Hmm. Uh, sorry, I think I was saying <coughs> loud. Why was I apologizing to a stranger uh, who only said two words since I woke up? Wait, he looked eerily familiar. Then it all came back to me. Incubus. He was an incubus, and his bro brothers came here for refuge, and two of them kissed me, and then I fainted, and that was how things came to, came to this. Yeah, things came. Um. Oh. <laughs> he was leaning against the far wall, looking at me. My heart began to race as I thought of the endless list of possibilities this situation brought me. I hated the thought of being under an incubus power, especially in a bedroom. Oh, yeah. Jump up and protect yourself or be calm. Well, most obviously be calm, right? 